Grand Rapids police have identified the victim of the city's 20th homicide of the year. 24-year-old Jordan Ginz from Kentwood was killed early Sunday morning. Police believe he was shot several times in the area of Turner and Fifth around 2.30. There are no suspects at this time. That shooting was just part of the violent weekend in the city. News 8 has new video now from one of the incidents showing gunmen firing at least 40 rounds into a home with multiple kids inside. A 14-year-old was hit, but thankfully is okay. Police are now trying to identify the multiple shooters. News 8's Heather Walker joins us now live with that video. Heather? This is the aftermath, a barrage of bullets covering the front of this home. We counted at least 40 bullet holes. Neighbors say closer to 50 were fired into the house. They could have killed all those kids. A neighbor's security camera put up to catch hit and runs, now catching this, a drive-by shooting involving two vehicles. You see the cars turning onto Lane Avenue near 2nd Street Northwest, then stopping to unload a barrage of bullets. One girl came outside running and crying, and she was, like, covering. Grand Rapids police say a 14-year-old was grazed by a bullet whizzing by her shoulder. Seven other kids, ages 10 to 17, also inside. Thankfully, they all survived. If they would have been on the first floor, they might be dead. This neighbor was outside when the cars pulled up around 9.30 Thursday night. You can tell by the video, they didn't care who was watching. I want to get out of Grand Rapids because this is getting uh, crazy and this is all in the city of Grand Rapids. Two hours earlier, a two-year-old was hit while riding in a car on the other side of town. This weekend, three more shootings and a stabbing, bringing the number of homicides to 20 for the year, already exceeding the number of homicides in all of 2019. Grand Rapids now on pace to have the most homicides since 1993, when there were 34. What's your message to the police chief? Well, they need to start doing something real soon and, you know, fast, because this is getting worse and worse. Chief Payne declined to comment today. He's previously said the police need more help from the community. But these neighbors say they're doing what they can to help. Now they want police to step up or they're moving out. We're like in the middle of the year. So that means if this keeps going, it's going to get worse and worse. And then we're going to end up with I don't know how many um, shooting and, you know, homicides. If you know anything about this shooting or the other violent crimes from these past few days, you're asked to call GRPD or Silent Observer. We have links to both of those contacts up right now at woodtv.com. Reporting live on Grand Rapids West Side, Heather Walker, News 8.